Hello, you lovely co-oper, co-oper, co-opers. It's Lisa here. And you and I are going to take a Jernex together. We're going to go and look at our time sheet software program called Jernex and just get a little familiar with it. So the first question you'd ask is, hey, Lisa, how the heck do I get to Jernex? Well, that's pretty easy. You just go to coop.org slash volunteer hours, V-O-L-U-N-T-E-E-R-O-U-R-S. Didn't think I could spell, did you? Well, you were wrong. Next is you'll get a login page. Your login is your first initial and your last name. In this case, we are Co-op Volunteer. So K-V-O-L-U-N-T-E-E-R. And your password is Default of Co-op, K-O-O-P. You can change that in the management sections uh, somewhere. I'm going to let you figure that out, but it's right here where it says Management. So what you see here is the month that you're in which is March, you can go forward and backward, and that comes into effect sometimes when you want to do some fixing. Uh, and then over here you have the days, and it goes way all the way over, Whoa! all the way over to 31 if there's 31 days in the month. And there are in March. So let's say we want to log uh, our monthly volunteer meeting. So we come here to the area here. I don't know what it's called, this drop down menu to volunteer monthly meeting, we choose that. Then we come here to the enter activity. And it's important to put an activity here so that your area coordinator knows what they are approving or rejecting. So in this case, I just attended, A-T-T-E-N-D-E-D. -E -E I have to spell everything. And it happened to be on Monday, March 5th, which is right here. So I will put a half an hour, which is how long we are allowed to log for membership meetings. Now let's talk about something that can be a little confusing, and that is uh, when it usually happens around membership drive time, which is right about this time. So if I come here to uh, the spring membership drive, so I come down here to, it says spring membership drive, and oh my god, it says not loggable. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. What do I do? What do I do? It says not loggable. Oh, stop freaking out. Just click it. So you click it once, and then you come back and you click it a second time, and all the stuff opens up underneath it. See, there is no need to panic. So let's say I did the phones. And let's say I did the phones on March 10th. So I go 310. This is under the comment section. From 2 to 4. Okay? And then I come over to where it says March 10th, which is right there. And I go 2 hours. And then I come back over here and I say save. Voila! That's all there is to it. Uh, then at the end of the month, or when you know that you will not be um, rooting, uh, logging any more hours for that month, you come over here and say submit for approval. So you may wait till you get an email from the system saying it's time to approve or to submit your hours for approval. Then you would log on, make sure you're in the right month and you can get the right month by using these buttons here. Because let's say you got that email in March, but it was for February, you'd have to go back and you want to submit the proper month. Now let's say you get one of those obnoxious emails that say, you have not submitted your uh, volunteer hours for this month, and you know that you haven't done any, so what do they want from you? My gosh! Well, it's pretty easy. You just go back to that month and submit a blank record. So, uh, so it might look like this. I'm going to skip ahead to April. So, I don't have any hours and I could just uh, submit a, uh, a zero hour for that month. Anyway, that's it. I hope that makes it uh, clear as to you. If you have any questions, you can email me at volunteer at coop.org. That is all. Happy, 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 whatever you're doing.